Okay. All right. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So this is uh, actually running also in OpenFin on a Mac too. So a lot of Mac OpenFin stuff in the house with our 6.0 release. Pretty cool. Um, thank you and uh, welcome to FinJS again. I want to introduce tonight a concept that I'm calling the uh, desktop web app. So I'm uh, Nick Kolba. I'm director of ecosystem at OpenFin. Uh, before, as many of you probably know, I had a long uh, tenure at TR uh, where I was director of technology on a number of things around Icon, including the Icon App Studio. I also led uh, the integration of Chromium into Icon and did a lot of uh, leading around HTML5 development in that organization. So uh, the sort of mission of HTML5, web standards, Chromium are all like near and dear to me. Um, so let's look at what the current landscape of financial apps looks like. And in fact, just a little point, I actually used to live right over there on that map, um, but I, I won't go into that. Um, today, app developers have two roads they can go by, right? Uh, if they can uh, take two very different paths. Either they can deliver into the commercial browser space, um, or they can leverage a hybrid web native container like you know, CEF, Electron, or one called OpenFin. Um, but let's first look at the uh, browser scape and what that looks like. So the landscape we have today is one dominated by HTML5. We have IE still very much alive, unfortunately, in our space with very limited HTML5 capabilities. Uh, it seems like a lot of stuff really, you know, is converging with Chrome leading the pack. Um, there's also these things over here called Chrome apps and open web apps that were attempts to sort of really appify the browser, but they've really been deprecated now. And what we have is this new emerging group of standards referred to as progressive web apps that Chris touched on. That's uh, also known as PWA. Now, PWA is really addressing the mobile space and making the mobile web work. Um, and if you talk to people in the W3C, most of them will tell you that the web is already won on desktop. But I think the booming ecosystem of native web hybrids really shows that's not entirely true, right? So let's look at the hybrid landscape. Right, you've got real convergence around Chromium and Node coming together. Um, you know, Electron is the big exemplifier right now of that, but you know, also within that ecosystem you have OpenFin. You also have a whole sort of uh, group of uh, hybrid, like, like boutique kind of browsers coming around with Brave being, I think, the most visible one. Um, so what's interesting about that is that Node and Chromium together have really emerged as like the foundational technology sets for, for the, building these kinds of hybrids. Um, but where are we today with the financial desktop apps, right? Um, this is what a lot of stuff still looks like, right? Where it's native, it's running in Java, .NET, C++, Flex, et cetera. And all those things give you a great user experience in a lot of really important ways. You have native windowing control. You've got, you know, kind of like global hotkey control. You have all this kind of like push, like interaction with the end users. Um, but you have a lot of downsides, right? You've got silos, you've got Windows only, you have a really terrible delivery process which totally hampers our agility as developers and be able, our ability to deliver innovation. And you know, with that as well, you have this kind of implicit security model where security is, you know, it's really up to the developer and that drives these kind of security uh, review processes that, again, just bog down the deployment and bog down innovation. So hybrids let desktop developers leverage HTML5 and JavaScript, right? And that mitigates many of the problems. They can take advantage of those ecosystems where there's so much going on. But what they don't do is that they don't let the desktop developers break out of these other you know, problems. It brings a lot of the problems of native with it. Security. Security is still bolted on. Packaging, 
you know, hasn't really evolved and you're relying still on manual testing by security teams to ensure they can trust what's really inside of that box, which, you know, and you can see that's as good as it gets. Um, portability, this, my mom had one of these. It's a K-Pro, this was considered to be a portable computer in the like, early 90s, late 80s. Um, uh, and it's, you know, you have this idea of HTML and JavaScript that you're building into this native kind of hybrid, but the, how portable is the code? Because it's breaking a lot of the sort of structures of real web apps, it ends up being still quite siloed in many cases. So with the browser world, you get all these things by default, right? You get integral security. It's by design. You get this agile deployment because you're in a true sandbox, and since it's agile and you can deploy whenever you want, and you get true portability because you're building to wide-reaching standards and your apps can move from desktop to mobile to from a hybrid to a commercial browser. You know, you can have true write once run anywhere. <laughs> um, so this all sounds great, <laughs> right? Um, the browser experience is defined by constraints, though. You have zero trust in your content. You're building always to the lowest common denominator, and you're delivering into this moving target of this, you know, commercial world that you don't really have control over delivering, which is not a great situation if you're delivering enterprise apps in the financial world with, you know, heavy-duty SLAs. Right, we need a better way. So, what does this future look like? I think that with the desktop web app, you can have the best of both worlds. You can have a native experience, and you can have web security and deployment models. And by bringing those together, you get this kind of having your cake and eating it too, as somebody said earlier, right? You can have agile development cycles. You can even run cross-platform, and you can have interoperability across the, the entire desktop. So the desktop web app, in my opinion, should provide FinTech with the infrastructure to unlock innovation, to improve security, and to reduce costs, right? This is what we've seen on the web, right? We've seen these benefits of agile development unlocking all this value, which is you know, so you know, clear from companies like Google, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, because they can fail fast, they can do things like A-B testing. They can look at big data across all their usage. This is all stuff that gets unlocked by having real web server deployment. Um, so we can uh, you know, create a native user experience that combines rich hooks into the desktop and allow apps to break out of the browser tab, right? Which you can have push controls, you can have rich notifications, you can have windowing control. You can have security by default by having real secure content loading, policy-based controls, and s true sandboxing. And finally, financial desktops can support an ecosystem of apps that will begin to look like a lot like microservices that you might have in the containerized world of the cloud. And this is a concept that you can see now even, there's something called dApps, distributed apps, that's looking at this as well. So, I'm gonna to cut to the conclusion because I'm told I don't have much time left. Um, so there's been a default contract in the web in commercial browsers for the past 25 years. It's based on a workflow of surfing content that's typically free, ephemeral, it's unfiltered by the client, and it's deeply, deeply untrusted, right? The web we all know is an inherently dangerous place, so we need secure browsers. But this doesn't have to be the only contract. You know, like the browser itself is just a, a concept called a user agent, and it goes out into the web and it pulls data and it's determining some rules of how it's gonna interact with that content. So other models can be proposed, right? You know, in the financial industry, for desktop web apps, we can have a real standard that, and they can address a really critical need, right? So this is what we looks like, you know, in our world. And we have more UX and performance demands for apps you know, we have screen real estate issues, we got tons of stuff all over the place, all these windows. 
We have, you know, multi-monitor systems. We have highly challenging deployment environments because they have to be locked down secure. And we have stronger needs around security, like I just said, haha, <laughs> because those two really go hand in hand. So, but we also have, like I think all of you here show, a robust and growing tech community, right? And that's strongly focused on HTML5 today. It's focused on web containers and on building standards. You know, so the desktop web app you know, has true applicability across the entire enterprise, but I think we in the financial industry are really uniquely positioned to pioneer this effort. So thank you.